going on everybody i hope you're having a wonderful day today this is going to be an awesome day and i i hope your day wherever you are is just as awesome as mine is going to be i want to talk to you today about first class and, and the first time i had an opportunity to fly first class i was going to visit a friend and when i got there that that night to the airport the plane was overbooked and they offered uh, uh, that we could come back the next day and you know and, and board the next morning so I was right here in Phoenix I just went home and came back the next day or uh, the next morning to take the flight that was available and when I looked at my ticket I saw that the ticket said first class you know and I'm thinking to myself somebody's messed up now you know but they're not asking I'm not telling so in my mind I'm thinking Okay, they're going to discover their mistake and they're going to eventually, you know, say, hey, sorry, you know, we, we gave you a first class ticket. But at any rate, I'm watching this thing and everything is, is going along as usual. And people are boarding and they're saying, you know, it's time for first class passengers to board first, you know, and, and I have my ticket. So I'm, you know, going up and I'm, I'm boarding first class and my seat was 1A. 1A. So I remember I got in there and I sit down and in my mind I'm thinking any moment now they're going to come in here and say, hey, get out of here. You're in the wrong seat. So I've got this, I'm in first class, but I've got a coach complex. So I go into first class, I'm sitting there and everybody boards. And I find out in first class, they know your name when you're in first class. So as we're about to take off, the flight attendant came to me and said, she says, Mr. James, and I'm thinking, okay, here goes. I said, hold on, let me get my stuff. You know, I'm ready to get back into, into, into coach, you know. She says, no. She says, uh, I was wondering, what would you like with your meal? You know, and this is when they served meals, you know, back back at time. And I'm thinking, meal? You know, I'm thinking, what's peanuts? Why? When is that called a meal, you know? And and, and she, she they served Salisbury steak, and it was it was perfect. And and that was the first time I ever tried biscotti. Biscotti. Now that's I, I had never had biscotti before, but it's kind of a cross between a biscuit and a cracker. You know, it, it's really good biscotti. So I I had biscotti. Man, I loved biscotti. And I remember eating my biscotti. And then I, I asked her, says, "Excuse me." She said, "Would you like another?" Oh yeah, I like another of those. You know. And then I had that one. And then uh, I wanted more. So I forgot the name of it. So the the flight attendant came by and says, "You know." Can I have another one of those uh, Bisquicky things there? You know? <laughs> and she gave me, two, uh, I was putting them in my pocket and in my bag, man. I mean, I was nervous because I didn't think I deserved first class. And I believe that it was a mistake. But I want you to know, I want you to know that first class is not a mistake. You're meant to be, and you are first class. And when you look at your life and you look at yourself, you deserve the very best. It's not an accident that some people get to enjoy first class opportunities and, and maybe you don't. You gotta start seeing yourself and where you see and position yourself, eventually the world starts positioning you where you see and position yourself. You're meant to be first class. Think about that. Everything in your life, you deserve first class. It may cost you a little bit more. It may be a little bit more you have to save for it. You have to believe deep down you're worth it.